Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia and thank you so much for watching. Uh, for May theme, we're doing cottage um, and I just love it. Uh, but first, let's go to a flip through April. So April was a more relaxed month. Um, I started my new job end of March. So April has been my adaptation to the new job and it's going well. Um, there was not many events going on in April. Um, so, and I haven't filled in um, all of it yet. Um, but, uh, but I will fill it in completely. But I did watch a lot of TV series and films. <laughs> But let's get started on the our theme for May. So first of all, I decided to use watercolors for this theme. I thought it was um, easier to to add to it, and I'm glad that I did it. I was almost to use um, uh, brush pens. Um, but uh but i'm glad i did that i'm glad i did i did use watercolors and um and i tr what i try to do uh, for the pages not to be too bulky is not add too many layers and when i'm adding color just like add a wash of light um color and then i did a little another um layer and or three layers tops and that's it so then he adds a little bit more color and makes a little bit of a depth in the object. So I added this hat, summer hat, spring hat, um, with this pink bow. And, um, and the quote for May uh, month is um, Collisions, um, chapter 3, um, verses 16. And, um, and I think he speaks through me. Uh, especially for May, I guess, and, um, and I think it's really beautiful. Um, so then I added this frame, this yellow frame with some dark brown as like a little, giving a little bit of depth. Um, And for the cover page, so I add the name of the month in the same box frame. I wrote May with um, with a fine liner, as I did with um, with the quote um, Micron from Sakura. And um, and I love these fine liners because uh, they're waterproof. So even if I did pass some watercolor on top, they won't smudge. Uh, so that's why I love this um, fine liners. I think this team is my favorite team so far, um, as in top three <laughs> um, because uh, first it was very simple to do in a way I won't say easy simple maybe um, even though it does have a few details um, but uh, Kaya came say hi um, but uh, at the same time maybe I that second tree that I added didn't need it <laughs> I could just have just one but um, but either way I love it how it turned out and I love how I use the watercolors and and how you know how um it's like it's simple it's not over complicated um, then for the self-care page and for the calendar page I just added in boxes and more boxes <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I think it makes it makes sense. Uh, maybe the boxes for the self care could be a little bit shorter, um, but um, 
but yeah, for the calendar and uh, and the self care, it, it just works, and uh, I'll fill it in after. For our next page is the weeklies. So I didn't film everything uh, from this setup, um, especially when I was adding yellow boxes in more yellow boxes <laughs> for each week. Uh, so I just add a little bit uh, of, of that process. Um, so you guys can understand. You can you can you guys can use any um, other medium. Uh, you can use brush pens if you want to, like uh, it, uh, or any markers if you prefer to use. Um, on the if you want to do this kind of setup, um, I then I just added these flowers, um, and then the scale on the side. And then for each week, I did um, shorter down the tabs. And normally, I use two spaces. This time, I just use one space to do the tabs. I didn't want them to be overwhelming on the um, on the setup. So, um, and then for each week, I added uh, a different uh, painting. So here, I'm adding uh, gardening tools. Then the water can, water pants. Then the lamp. And um, a cup of tea and a teapot with flowers. <laughs> and I think it looks really cute and, um, and I love how it turned out. For the next page, uh, we setting up the content page and the brain dump. And for the brain dump, I just added the bowl with um, with a wood spoon and uh, and some butter because you know, brain dump, mixing, baking. I don't know, <laughs> baking something. <laughs> And then I added a, a stack of um, teacups. Maybe I should have added like a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not too sure, but they do. I think they look really cute. For the mood tracker and the heavy tracker, so heavy tracker, I continue to do the same. Nothing changed besides the setup of with the, with the yellow box. But the mood tracker, I um, I actually look around because I didn't see many teams of um, of uh, setups of of like of journals with cottage team or this kind of team that I how I did it to be honest so um, I didn't see any um, so but I was looking for a mood tracker that it made sense and um, and I found this um, example with um, with a uh, wood furniture and then he was holding a lot of items of kitchen items so I decided to instead of being putting in a furniture I decided to put it in shelves and maybe I'll add more um, moods uh, so you can have different colors, I'm not too sure. 
For the memories page, um, again, I did really simple, maybe too simple. I literally just had the title and add um, a painting illustration in the corner. Um, so lame, I know. <laughs> but um, maybe I'm thinking that I'll add maybe the yellow um, frame to each page. I wanted maybe to connect them, but I'm not sure if they're gonna to connect well. So I might just do like a frame uh, for each page and um, well, I think I'll add it after. And um, that's a cake, chocolate cake with some strawberries on top. And it looks yummy. And I want a slice. <laughs> I hope you do too. Um, for the um, next page, for the um, weight tracker and on, string, on screen, sorry. Um, Kaya came and say hello again. Um, I added again the boxes um the only change here i think I had an extra box for the weight tracker uh i think it's working and is um is working for me so i'll keep going with this um layout for now and uh, on screen maybe next um maybe next month i'll change it for something else um because now i have a stamp with a rating with the stars rating um, so maybe next month I'll do something different, we'll see. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's go through a final flip through uh, all the pages. Um, this is one of my top three um, uh, setups and layouts. I really love it how it turned out. I hope you did too as well. And, um, and I had a lot of fun to make it. So if you did like it as well don't forget to like the video <laughs> and um, don't forget to subscribe as well so you can get updates um, from my uh, when I upload the video um, and um, don't forget to leave a comment with anything that um, inspired from this theme a teacup a cake whatever you like um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys um, soon. Bye!